tickets are required to play STB, you get the first three for free. The game is divided into four stages, first easiest, last hardest. You have 31 numbered spaces to move through the board, previously it was 50, it was reduced to 35, now to 31. What will be next, we'll see. The game board in the November 10th, 2021 edition looked like this. The three most important information about the stage are Number of rounds to be completed The cost of starting the stage, in tickets Reward for reaching the checkpoint First stage Five rounds to be completed One ticket for the start of the stage Reward for reaching the checkpoint The second stage of the game. The third stage of the game. The final stage of the game. To advance through the board you play one repetition of a scene, in a similar way as in the time rush competition. You need to find all items from list. If you run out of time you can buy a few more seconds, by paying with diamonds, or come back to the previous checkpoint. Initially, each subsequent purchase of extra time is more expensive by 5 diamonds. The maximum cost was 50 diamonds. I have not checked what it looks like after the recent changes. If the time has run out you can also choose the second option and go back to the last checkpoint. You will then issue tickets instead of diamonds to restart the stage. The board with the STB can be left without a loss progress in the game when you reach the checkpoint or after winning a round. The next video shows such split playing in STB for several sessions. Instead of going out to the island, you can turn off the game. It is important not to do this at the time of an active game in the round.
If you don't make mistakes, the first three free tickets will allow you to play the first in the second part of the STB. To continue playing, you need to get more. You can do this by playing through normal scenes, you get one ticket every few repetitions. Gaining three tickets in the last edition required me to play 22 repetitions of scenes. The list of end screens is in order of repetitions. If I have not received the ticket, the end screen is in grayscale. The ones where I received the ticket are in color. I estimate you will get one ticket in every five to eight repetitions. It seems you can have the maximum 10 tickets. After reaching that number I stopped receiving them. After using the tickets from the stock, I started getting them again while I was playing scenes in the main story. Tickets can also be purchased in the store for money. From several editions of the STB the scenes for the player are drawn from the pool of practically all the scenes in the game, therefore the course of every gameplay is almost unique. If you want to use spoilers or otherwise, prepare for the play in STB you need two things. Find out what scene you play next, know the scene number, have material to learn the scene. After starting the STB and receiving free tickets we already have the possibility to see a thumbnail of the first scene. Until we will start first part of the game the miniature will be visible in shades of grey. This is a completely blank scene in a clipped frame. You can however, Use it for searching the number of the scene you will be playing in this part of the game. I recommend for this purpose visit the website, stb.crazyjune.eu. At this point we have Polish and English language to choose from. The website has a simple search interface which permit quickly narrowing down the amount of displayed scenes. Each miniature has a description that identifies it. At the moment it is in my opinion the fastest and the best way to finding the scene number from June's journey. Thanks for preparing the website goes to Dorota Kopernik. I recommend checking yourself what contain and how filters work. After few moments you should be able to identify the scenes for yourself in seconds. There are other ways too which I will try for you to introduce. If you dare to play the first round in part do a print screen with a list of three items you must find. Try to enter their names, in English language, in the search engine. I'm usually adding two strings, Junes plus Journey and Site, GamersUnite.com. I perform the search among the graphics. At the bottom of the screen three names of subjects in English, which will be used for the search. I will now look for scene with the Google search engine.
If we have a print screen, graphic, we can do a search in Google using an image instead of keywords. This is another way to search for the scene number. The next useful address is june.ov. The author is Adam Kempa. On one web page we have almost 1150 scene thumbnails. Each of them has the scene number on the left top corner. We can also enlarge thumbnails. The last way is by asking people on an FB group, forum, or another medium to recognize the scene for you. However, in this case, you are dependent on the goodwill of others. It should be remembered that not to litter with requests to identify scenes. This is so problematic that admins virtually everywhere prepare appropriate places and rules for posting such requests. I would advise you to read them and follow them. Scene study materials may be, for example, already unlocked scene in June's story, video spoiler showing gameplay in a given scene, best in a time rush competition. Graphic with indication in the names of all items in the scene. Gamers Unite subpage containing graphic with indication and item names from your scene. Anything else that will help to click all required items over time less than 20 seconds. Very popular at the time of STB there is a Gamers Unite service. This leads to overloads of servers on which it is placed. You cannot then get direct access to Gamers Unite web pages. However, Access is possible indirect through copy of website pages on Google servers. To obtain it we have to search for a specific one scene with Google search engine. Select then a display option, copy, of the page. I'll show it on the example of scene 250. I search for a scene by typing, June's plus journey plus 250. Site. Gamersunite.com. The copy of the page has the same functionality as the original. Sometimes it may take moments to display it. This method works for both computer and others' devices. When playing in STB you have to stay calm. The nervousness is leading to errors, and errors usually end in failure or diamonds use. However, failure is not bad. Sometimes it's better to spend tickets the second time on restart part of the game than to keep going. The first part can be played almost instantly. It's empty, you have a lot of time, not many items to find. Part 2 and 3 are worthwhile to prepare a little so as not to be surprised. To complete the fourth part is best to remember all the items in the scene. It is also important to keep a steady and fast click rate. I mean keeping an equally fast pace from start to finish the final part. In the end, any mistakes usually lead to an instant fail. Alternatively, this is the time to pay in diamonds for extra time. However, you should rethink in advance how much you would like to spend. Not to act on impulse. If you are totally unsuccessful in STB just spend your free tickets and close this minigame. Always it is a chance for some extra resources. Over time, with such a strategy, 
you can become fluent and self-confident in gameplay. Which is a key in playing and winning in STB. At least that's my opinion. Good luck.